Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Muhammad Sheikh's channel. Please click the bell icon so that you may receive timely notifications of our upcoming videos. Surah Al-Baqarah 2 and Ayah 213. Kana nas ummatan wahida fabaf Allah nabiyin mubashina wa mundirin wa anzala ma'ahum al-kitaba bilhaq liyahkuma bayna nasi fi maqtalafu fi. Mankind is one single ummah nation and Allah appointed nabiyin prophets to give good news and warnings and with them he revealed Al-Kitab, the book, in truth to govern between mankind in what they differed in it. So Allah says that mankind, mankind is one single nation. Allah appointed prophets. Now I hold in my hand is the book, the book Al-Kitab. And the prophets, if you note, is in plural. The Arabic is a Nabiyin is a plural. The mo point here is that the prophets were given the book Al-Kitab. This book Al-Kitab, we have already discussed that what, are, what is this book, what it contains. Now we are discussing this book was given to whom? To whom this book was given? This book I am talking about. I am talking about Al-Kitab now. Because I have this, we have previously I have Al-Kitab. Now we are reading Al-Kitab, the book. So this book Allah says mankind is all times in all times in past, in present, future. Mankind is one single nation. It means every mankind has got way the same psyche. We may be programmed into different schools of thoughts, but basic cycle is the same. One single nation. Allah appointed prophets in plural. And they came to, to give good news and warn. And with these prophets, Allah says, we reveal the book singular, Al-Kitab, the book, with truth in Haq, Bil Haq. So this is for a simple person who have been not programmed into four books, may read this and understand. It's not a difficult part to understand. If this is the book given to all the prophets, you see, so what was the order of revelation, you see? Because again, the question of Ira jumps in. According to our limited knowledge, you see what we have understood that Ibrahim alayhi salam, then Musa alayhi salam, then Isa alayhi salam, then many prophets in between. The last chain, the last chain of the prophets is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. That is my, you got my question sir? Yes. What is the order of revelation uh, given to all because the book, if today you hold in your hand the book, it is, uh, we have understood and we know that, that, the, that the order of revelation according to history and tradition is that chapter 96 Surah Alaq was the first chapter or first chapter of order of revelation and then uh, and then was the other ayahs and then this is how they, we have and it was compiled and make it to the book so now we have to first analyze what is the order of revelation and how the revelation was given to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and all time Surah Al-Baqarah 2 Ayah 23 first I read for you وَإِن كُنْتُمْ فِي رَيْبٍ مِمَّا نَزَّلْنَا عَلَىٰ عَبْدِنَا فَأَتُوا بِسُورَةٍ مِّن مِّسْلِ and if you are in doubt as to what we have revealed on our servant, that is Muhammad Rasulullah, then come with a surah, a chapter, one surah, like, like it. And call your witnesses besides Allah if you are speaking the truth. So in this ayah Allah says that if you are in doubt as to what we have revealed to our servant, then you come with a surah, chapter, one surah. The Arabic word is one surah. So this is ayah, one surah you have to come. Now this is in Surah Baqarah 2, Ayah Baqarah 2, he says come with one Surah. But if you read in Surah Hud 11, Surah, surah Hud 11 and Ayah 13, Am yaquluna aftarah, qul fatu bi ashari suwarin, suwarin mithlihi muftarayat, wad'u man istata'atum min dunillah in kuntum sadiqeen. Or they say, he forged it, he invented, he produced it, Say, come with ten surahs, chapters forged unto it, and call whomsoever you can, other than Allah, if you are truthful. Now, these are the two verses from the same book, right? And in Surah chapter 2, you have to give an answer, people, if anybody. In Baqarah 2, he says, come with one surah, if you are doubt. And in Surah Hud 11, 11 surahs, he says, come with ten surahs. One minute. 
No, no, hold on. <laughs> you got it, brother. You. In 10 surahs, 11 surah, he says, come with 10 surahs. And in two surahs, he says, one surah. What, what do you understand by this? In 11 surahs, Allah says, if you are in doubt, come with 10 surahs. And in second surah, he says, come with one surah. Brother understood? Excuse me, have you understood? That's what I'm, I'm repeating. Some people may have understood. Look, Allah is saying that people who are doubting, in this chapter 2 surah, in second surah, he says, come with one surah, one chapter. When he reached 11 surah, he says, come with 10 surahs. So what do you understand? What is the sequence? What do you understand by this? Order of revelation. No? You understand this? You understand the question? How the Quran was revealed? What is the order of the sequence of the surahs? How? How would be the same order? The same order will be in two surah, second surah, when Allah was talking in the second surah, He said there is one surah before. So He said, come with one surah. And when He reached 11 surahs, He said, come ten with 10 surahs if you doubt. So that means He has given, that is the order of revelation. The question He was asking was, what is the order of revelation? So it was not the 96th surah, it was the first surah. The order of the Quran today as we see, in the second surah is the one surah is asking for one surah and in the eleventh surah is asking for ten surahs. That means this is the order of revelation. But we see at the same time that in history that it is recorded that there were situationally Quran was revealed. Situationally according to this is Shan and Nuzul. A situation occurred. There was a situation and then ayat was explained. So it was according to situationally also Quran was revealed. So according to that understanding, how will we understand so Surah Al-Asra 17 and Ayah 106. And we have divided the Quran so that you read it on mankind on intervals or situationally. And we have revealed it, it revealed, revealing. So in this ayah says the Quran, Allah is divided. Quran is being divided by Allah into different surahs and chapters and in stages, in situations. For example, in Surah Al-Nas 16, 101, وَإِذَا بَدَّلْنَا آيَةً مَكَانَ آيَا وَاللَّهُ أَعْلَمُ بِمَا يُنَزِّلْ قَالُوا إِنَّمَا أَنْتَ مُفْتَرْ بَلَا أَكْثُرُمْ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ When we change the place of ayah with an ayah and Allah knows with what He reveals, they say you have produced, invented, but majority of them do not know. Now, the Quran revelation, order of the Quranic revelation is the same as you see today. Surah Fatiha first and Surah Baqarah 2 and Surah Hud 11 and Surah Nas last. But what has happened is, for example, you people have come to a lecture or a course that on a particular topic, particular subject, and that is about the book. In that context, we have to collect the data from different surahs and ayahs, collect the data and then I read it. Then you understood what is the status of the book. Similarly, in all times when Allah, this is what Allah says, وَإِذَا بَدَّلْنَا آيَةً مَكَانَ آيَةً آيَةً When Allah changed the place of an ayah with an ayah, Allah knows what has, what has to be revealed. So they say He produced it. But the majority of do not know. What has happened in all times, whenever any topic has to be discussed, you have to collect the data and ayahs from different surahs and ayahs, put together and then expound. And then Allah has changed the place of an ayah with an ayah. It always do that. Allah always do that. The place of an ayah with an ayah. So that the Allah knows what has to be revealed. So you, you see the booklet that has been given to you does not is not in the sequence of the Quran, the, sequence of the order of the Quran, because we are not discussing the whole Quran, we are discussing a particular subject. And for that subject, we have to collect the ayahs together. But the placing of an ayah, exchanging the place of an ayah exchange is done by Allah, but the Quran will remain as it is. On situations, on different subjects, we have to collect the ayahs data, and that is also permissible because Allah said, we are doing it, we are doing this. This is the answer of this.